Welcome to the New Readers Press online learning training series. In this video, we'll be showing you how to set up new classes. Select classes from the navigation tab and then click the new class button. We'll set up an individual class first. When naming your classes, consider using a consistent format for easy reference and reporting purposes. It could include course, instructor name, semester and year, or whatever works for your program. When a new student first activates her or his account by logging into the course, an adaptive calendar that tracks progress will be activated with 90 days to complete the course as the default. However, the field below allows you to preset the anticipated course completion date for the class. You should use this only if you want everyone in the class to have the same completion date. This might not be a good choice for open entry, open exit programs. Click next, and now it's time to assign one or more instructors to the class. Simply check the box to the left of the instructor's name. If you decide to create a class before uploading your teachers or wish to add a new teacher not on your current list, click on New Instructors. Otherwise, find the instructor on the list and check the box. Click Add to Class to save your work. Check the Instructors in Class number to make sure you did it correctly. Now click Next to assign students. Check the boxes next to the students you wish to add to this class. Click Add to Class. Double check your work and click Finish. If you wish to upload multiple classes using an Excel spreadsheet, click Upload Multiple in the New Class drop down in the top right hand corner. If you wish to do this, follow the same bulk upload process as outlined in the Chapter 1 video except the Excel spreadsheet will have five headers. Make sure the group name and user type headers have the underscore between words or your file won't upload. Type the class name under the group name header and either student or instructor under user type. The same guidelines apply for assigning passwords. If you're assigning fake email accounts to students, those students must be added to a class separately. Don't forget to save it as a CSV file. Find it by clicking on Browse or the Choose File button. And then click Upload. Learn more by visiting onlinelearning.newreaderspress.com.